yellow sticky traps do not work. I'm just gonna put that out there and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. If you're thinking about buying sticky fly traps to solve your fungus ant problems, I'm gonna tell you right now, you might be misguided by taking those actions. Hey guys, it's Joe here from Hermit Garden. Coming at you with another video, we're gonna talk about sticky fly traps, specifically yellow sticky fly traps for fungus gnats. So if you've been dealing with fungus gnats, you've probably come across yellow sticky traps as a way to combat those uh, fungus gnats that have been infesting your plants. So the whole idea behind these yellow sticky traps is that fungus gnats are attracted to the color yellow, and the sticky trap is going to attract them, draw them to it, and once the fungus gnats touch that paper, they're gonna be stuck to it, unable to continue the life cycle, unable to reproduce, they can't do anything, they're essentially dead on the spot, as far as you care. So that's great and all, but the problem is that doesn't necessarily solve your problem by itself. So to explain why, let me just kind of give you a little bit of background on where I'm coming from. So I moved into this, this current place where I'm recording this video about six months ago, and this is my landlord's place. She has a whole bunch of plants around the house. Apparently some of the plants are infested with fungus gnats. And I looked really hard, I couldn't figure out which ones were infested by fungus gnats. Maybe it was all of them around the house. But long story short, I always had these little black dots flying around me, bothering me during my work hours, working from home. And it was really annoying. So I decided to do something about it, and I got these yellow sticky traps for fungus gnats. So these are highly recommended. I did a little bit of research, and I saw that these generally worked best for attracting these uh, fungus gnats. They're supposed to get stuck on this yellow paper before they can reproduce, and supposedly that's supposed to solve my problem. Long story short, that didn't happen. It's been about six or seven months after I started doing that, and I'm still dealing with fungus, fungus gnats. Let me go ahead and show you some clips, probably coming up on the screen right now, of what my yellow sticky traps look like right now, about six or seven months later. I put them in a whole bunch of different places, uh, put them next to all my landlord's plants, put them into my own terrarium because my terrarium got infected with these fungus gnats. And you can kind of see that fungus gnats were getting stuck on these yellow sticky papers. So it actually, it does work. Fungus gnats do get stuck to it and they do die off. They're unable to move. They can't come off of that sticky paper. But one thing that I noticed about these yellow sticky paper is that fungus gnats weren't exactly attracted to them as attracted to them as I thought they would be when I was going out and paying for these uh, sticky traps. So I put them in a few different places, and in the beginning, I didn't really see any flies at all get stuck on the sticky paper. So I had them out for like weeks at a time. I only saw maybe one or two fungus gnats get stuck on it. Part of that was my bad because I didn't put them near where the fungus gnats are. I just kind of put them in random places hoping that the bright yellow would draw the fungus gnats in to get stuck on that paper. Because if these fungus gnats are flying all over the house, even where there's no plants around my desk, which is like a few feet away from a plant, then I assumed that having this sticky paper kind of in, in the area, in a place that's visible to these fungus gnats, that they would just fly over and get stuck. But I guess that's not what happened. Having those sticky traps around for a few weeks didn't really do anything for me. They just kind of sat there, didn't tr attract any flies at all, and really didn't seem like they were doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm s sitting at my desk here with my computer, getting like a fly or two every couple of hours flying up in my face and on my computer screen. Really annoying, really annoying stuff. Whatever was happening, for some reason, the sticky traps weren't working. So I moved them a bit close to the plants, and that seemed to do something. I was getting like a few flies here and there, but still, st still seeing flies come up in my face every hour or so, sitting at my desk. So what that kind of told me was that these fungus gnats, they weren't really attracted to the color yellow as much as I thought they would be. If I had to take a guess, maybe some flies were getting stuck on it just because of random movement. They are just flying around randomly and just happened to get stuck on the sticky paper. But I don't think that they were necessarily drawn to the sticky paper or the color yellow. I've actually went into my terrarium uh, when it was infested with a whole bunch of fungus gnats. Um, I saw a bunch of them flying around in there. And I actually held out a piece of yellow sticky paper. And I kind of almost put it inches 
an inch or even like half an inch away from these fungus gnats and they didn't do anything. They just kind of moved around randomly and didn't fly onto it or anything like that. I actually had to like kind of swat them with the sticky paper to get them stuck on it. So that kind of gives you an idea of how effective these sticky paper was, were at attracting these fungus nests, which is not much at all. So besides the fact that these sticky traps weren't really as effective as I thought they would be, on top of that, I wasn't really doing any treatment to the soil. About the time that I put these sticky traps in, I wasn't too comfortable with doing some things to my landlord's plants. I didn't want um, to cause any problems with those because they weren't mine. Uh, so I didn't really want to go out and buy pesticides or any fungicides or do anything like that to uh, treat the soil or anything. So thinking back, I think what was happening was these sticky traps occasionally caught a few flies here and there, but they didn't really address the root cause of the issue, which was that fungus gnats are laying their eggs and their larvae are growing in the soil, reproducing, restarting the life cycle, all before kind of the timeline around where the fungus gnats will get stuck to a sticky trap. So a fungus gnat will lay their eggs, the eggs will hatch, the larvae will grow into fungus gnats, they'll fly around, reproduce, lay their eggs, and then get stuck on the trap. So that reproduction cycle all happens in, a, in an endless loop, and the sticky trap doesn't have any role in stopping that circle of life. It's just kind of off to the side here while this circle of life is happening. So if I had to go back, I would probably look into doing some more fungicide or some pesticides, doing some kind of treatment to the soil to prevent the larvae from turning into fungus nets. So let's fast forward a few months up to today. The clips that I showed earlier, the clips that I showed earlier, that's kind of the picture of what the yellow paper looks like now. They've been sitting in there for a few months, and I think just because of the sheer volume of fungus nets that I've been dealing with, we're starting to see some fungus gnats actually appear on that paper. But in my opinion, they didn't really do anything at all to stop my fungus gnat problem. It might it might have helped to control it a little bit, but it did not eliminate those fungus gnats from, from the plants in the house. As a matter of fact, when I had those sticky traps out, I was noticing, I actually counted them in my mind per day, the number of flies that flew past my screen actually outnumbered the number of flies that got stuck onto that sticky paper. So that just kind of gives you the whole story about how effective these sticky traps were. Um, really, they didn't do much for me at all, other than maybe a little bit of satisfaction at seeing some flies stuck on, on yellow paper. So long story short, if you're going to buy yellow sticky traps to get rid of fungus nets, really make sure that you're doing everything you can to address the full life cycle of fungus nests. So you want to prevent them from coming into your plants in the first place. So that means you want to bottom water your plants, make sure you're not watering them too much because excess moisture will actually draw those nets in to your soil and give them the breeding grounds that they need to reproduce. So you want to make sure you bottom water your plants, make sure they dry out completely between waterings. And if you want to, you can also put a little layer on top of your soil maybe like sand or even try some gravel or something like that because that will allow water to flow through. The top will dry out really quickly without messing with your plant's soil composition too much. So doing those two things will prevent fungus gnats from coming to your soil in the first place. And if you're dealing with fungus gnats right now, what you can do is you can get some fungicides like uh, neem oil is a really popular one that I've heard of. You can also try some pesticides that you might come across. Um, in my opinion, you should look for something that's all natural. You don't want to do anything that's too strong or that could harm your plants. Do something, you could test a little bit first on your plant to see how it responds to it and then go all out with a full exposure. But fungicides and pesticides might be another option you want to consider to kill all of that larvae in, in your soil on top of the other countermeasures that you're applying to your plants. And if you want to go like really hardcore nuclear option, you could actually replace all of the soil completely with brand new potting soil, if that's what it comes down to. So in my opinion, if you're gonna, if you really want to get an effective treatment for your fungus gnats, you want to make sure to do all those three things, prevent them from coming to your soil, kill out all the larvae in the soil, and then catch the adults flying around with the yellow sticky paper. So if you do those three things in combination, that's how you're going to get an effective treatment for your fungus nets. 
So don't make my mistake and just rely on those yellow sticky papers. You're going to make sure to do your research and do everything that you can to kill these guys off because they're really, really resilient and it's they're really tough to get rid of. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks guys for watching. If you liked it, if you learned something, if that was helpful to you, give it a like and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.